Hi, this is Diana. Six months ago, I vanished from YouTube. And now, we're selling our house. So here's the story. Uh, a few months ago, it was Mother's Day. We celebrated a little late, the first week of June. And my daughter handed me a card that said, Happy Grandmother's Day. So that's when Jerry, my husband and I, found out we were about to become grandparents. And the first words out of my mouth were, that's it, we're moving. And it turns out I wasn't kidding. We are moving. It has taken time and effort to sell this house, but we are moving closer to my daughter into another town south of Seattle and east of Seattle, actually a little closer to Tacoma. And we will be leaving our home in Everett, Washington. By the numbers, we have been in this house 30 years. We raised three children in this house. We had 11 foster kids through this house. And we've had more cars than I can count. We were the second owners to own this house. We did not own it when it was new, but we did hear the story. So the story goes that of this complex, ours was the last house to be built. And since it was on the corner lot, it became the sand lot. So all of the kids played here. So they were so sad when our house was built. And so to this day, kids play out there in the yard on the corner because really this is supposed to be their park. Oh, and this house was built by a construction company called Hog Construction. You can see some of their work over by Cascade High School. There's a few other houses that they built on the corner of Bruin and Casino. They thought this would be their show house where they show everything that they can do. That's why this house has three skylights, three bay windows, and half wagon wheel window, and the arched doorways because they wanted to show all of the options you could possibly get if you bought a house from them. I don't think they ever built a house after ours. Well, let's take a quick tour of our last time to my home of the last 30 years. When we bought the house, there was a fan up here. Eventually, we took down our brass chandelier in the dining room, repainted it silver, and put it up here. And here's the shoe bunker. It has a drawer. Place for shoes. These floors we updated in 2019. Jerry had a friend that worked for a flooring company. And so we got these engineered floors. We love them. One of the best things we ever did was these floors. So we've only been on them for five years. The laundry room. There is a lock right there on that door. So you can turn the lock and keep anybody from walking in on you while you're changing the laundry load, getting hit by the door. Usually I just scream. There's locks on these cabinet doors. These lock and we kept all our pharmaceuticals in them. So we didn't have to worry about foster kids getting into them. Laundry room, there's a row of hooks. I keep my purses on it now that the kids are grown. But when they were in school, this helped all their backpacks every day. So that will come in handy. We never quite finished the remodel in the bathroom, but we did get the floors done. That's actual grout between the luxury vinyl tile. Um, I had Jerry put dimmers. These were just two recess lights, but we added these fixtures five years ago when we started the remodel. So now we can use the dimmer when you watch movies and such. The wood fireplace, it used to be really ugly color. We painted it white and it looked weird. It looked like styrofoam, so we tried the gray and the gray is much better and put in this new mantle. There's a switch there that turns on the fan, so the fireplace works better. Now, <laughs> the mystery of this silly cubby. <laughs> Isn't this ridiculous looking? So what happened was this part was cedar and had a door right there. And so whoever designed it, it was so you didn't track wood on the carpet. So you would open the little door and you could throw your wood right there. And then when you built a fire, there was no mess on the rug. Except for that, we didn't use the fire very often. And we felt weird about anybody could sneak in that little weird door. So we sealed it all off and every kid who's ever been in this house thinks this is the best play space ever. So we usually just keep blankets and pillows in there so they can play house in the corner. And this is the furniture we're down to in the rec room. We're moving tomorrow, so 
This is the final bit of furniture. We're leaving behind this little corner table. It holds the router and stuff for the internet because I used to have a desk here, so all of the outlets are in this corner, and so that just houses it nicely. This blue stove. This is a new stove. It was bought in the last five years, and that blue is actually um, ceramic, so it's ceramic lined. So be careful with the shelves. This bottom shelf is neat because it pulls out. You just want to be careful that you don't break the ceramic because the guy's installing it sure did. This is the second stove since then. Back in the day, this window was a garden window. So it stuck way out and you couldn't reach it to clean it. And it was covered in rust. So when we had the windows put in, we took it out. I think it would be a great place to play drive through restaurant with a kid. You could just open it up and take their order. Oh, the pantry. Now that was just remodeled, I think it was a year ago. Now, maybe less. Jerry reinforced the back of the shelves and put in all new shelves and added the shelf there at the bottom. It is hardwood underneath that. That extra piece of carpet is just to keep you from scratching the hardwood. All of these um, stainless steel appliances were installed about five years ago. So just this year, we put lighting in the kitchen underneath the counter so that you can eat at the counter and see what you're doing. And there it is. It's kind of, you know, you just touch this button right here. Let's see if we can get it to film the button. And we have a train thermostat. It is scheduled right now to go down to 55 degrees in the night and be 72 during the day. And it is Wi-Fi compatible. So I have an app and I can adjust it even when I'm not home. So you'll probably want to set that up. I spent so much time last year felting these. So all this felt is really new. This mounting putty works really good for keeping the edges down if the edges come up on the felt. We lost the curtain for here. So we use the curtain for the pantry. Brand new curtain to go in here. This used to have double doors, but they were always in the way. Curtains are about two years old. We just got those. We really didn't know we were moving. I love my light fixtures. Jerry decided on this blue color for the insets. And this is our sunken living room. The bay window and the arched doorways. I always thought that this dining room should actually be a stage. Doesn't it look like a stage with a proscenium arch? It didn't have a light fixture in this room. It was just lamps. We got this in 2020. In fact, in March of 2020, it was in stock at the Bellevue Pier 1, which is now out of business. We drove down to get it, and that was the last day that restaurants had dining rooms open and everything was open from COVID. But we already had the standing lamp, and this matched it, and I really wanted this fixture. I'm gonna miss this fixture. When we were young and married, we couldn't really afford furniture. The room looked a lot like this. So we had my first son and he was three when we moved in. Since we didn't afford furniture for this room, we just kept his little car, you know, that they ride in and he would go around in circles in this room. And then as we got more furniture, it also became the balloon pit. So if kids had a birthday party, we would just fill this entire sunken. This half a wagon wheel window is covered with this sort of paper fan thing on purpose. That is because without it covered, it started bleaching out all the furniture in the living room. So even though it wasn't very expensive and it isn't very nice, it is a lot cheaper than buying new furniture. Living room with balloons. There is also a ring doorbell. So well, one thing I was gonna mention was that there are actually two school districts that serve this street that we live on. So some of the kids go to the Everett School District and then at the end of the cul-de-sac there's a straight line and those kids go to the Bacatillo School District. So be prepared for a gazillion buses. There's a special needs kiddo down there and so a special bus goes down for him. There's a lot of buses. This is the full bath. Sorry, I lost the shower curtain <laughs> in the move, but you still have the liner, so you can still take a shower in it. And actually, it's a little easier to see with the liner. Where my kids grew up taking their baths, and Jerry just installed this backsplash in, in August. That just went in this year, in 2024. Insert video of Kev's room here. 
All right, and this was my oldest son's room. He grew up in this room and is actually visiting us here now. Okay, I know the color is a little bit shocking. This is the blue room. This is my office with white furniture. I designed this a while back and I made Jerry do crown moldings. It turns out they're really, really hard to install. So Jerry spent days and days doing the crown moldings in this room. It really needs it with the blue wall though. This had been my middle son's bedroom and it was a different blue color for him. But this was for it to be my office. So during COVID, this was my office. This is where I did all of my work, where I shot all my YouTube videos were in this room. And so this blue wall got to be very familiar to people from the videos. And then at work, I'd be the only one. Everybody would have gray wall, gray wall, gray wall, beige wall, beige wall, and I would have my blue walls. And so I was really excited when my real estate agent decided that I could leave them. And so hopefully the next people will enjoy the blue room or paint over it right away, whichever one, but at least it's something unique. Remember our house, it was the one with the blue room. So this was our youngest bedroom. It was bubblegum pink. Each room had bunk beds in it too. After my daughter moved out, my husband converted it into his room where he slept. And so he painted the walls a dark gray and the ceiling red. These curtains matched perfectly then. And our real estate agent said no, and she put up her own curtains, but she takes all that stuff back. So these are the curtains we have. The light switch covers now, the covers still match. And finally, my room, obviously, we're packing. There's boxes. Nothing's tidy like it should be. It's got the great bay windows, which I put blackout shades on to so sleep. You can see the neighborhood from here. And it's got a great territorial view. Like you can just sit here and watch hawks and all those kinds of things. It's kind of cool. The room's pretty big. I've kept a desk in here and stuff, but this is all of our stuff to go that's in here now. My husband always kept his stuff to get ready in the downstairs bathroom. So even though there were two sinks, we did not use this one. Only use this sink. That one's in pretty good shape. And this is my bathroom. And of course we have a dimmer again because who wants to take a relaxing bath under a spotlight? <laughs> you know, when they used to make them with jets, they would discolor. And so of course they're discolored and there's nothing I can do about it. I never use the jets except for to clean. I throw a dishwasher tablet in there, run the whole thing, run the jets, clean the bathtub. And there is one ding where I dropped a candle. I had it up on this little glass shelf. And how did I do laundry for at least five people for many years? The key was to grab the laundry in the morning and throw it over. Now, if I was smart, I would have put a basket down there and toss the laundry down, it would go right into the basket. That would give me a pile of laundry right here. Wash it, dry it, fold it in the rec room, and put the basket on the landing of the stairs. The next person to go upstairs takes it up with them, and then I've done laundry for five people without ever carrying a load of laundry, really. I did shoot a number of videos in this kitchen. Um, the cabinets. I know that the style now is that they're painted, not wood. So we actually had a guy out like six months ago and he priced it for us and to get painted cabinets, like manufactured painted cabinets put on and then have the boxes painted, it was $19,000. <laughs> and then when we looked at the cabinets, doors, the cabinet doors were made from press board. So I was gonna take these beautiful wood cabinets take the doors off of them and put press board in their place. I didn't have the heart to do it. That's why the wood cabinets are here. But even though they look that way in the video, they are not orange. They are definitely brown. And so that's a little more livable than, than the oaky. They're more of a maple color. And we never got to the counters. The faucet's brand new though. It works really good. Or to the attic is upstairs in the hallway there's over the living room that is in the first bedroom closet and the day that we moved into this house i had a friend helping me uh, unpack boxes her daughter was four my son was three and they were playing together and suddenly we heard her daughter screaming the feathers the feathers and we ran upstairs and she had 
opened the door to the attic or the living room and climbed in to the blown installation. And she thought it looked like feathers. So, just getting a little bit of footage of the garage. It's garage. Jerry built all this storage up here. Lots of room for things. It's raining. Or I'd give you better footage of the yard. Why do we have two sheds? Jerry built this shed. It has all of our gardening stuff in it. And he asked the kids for Christmas, did they want certain toys or did they want a clubhouse? They picked the clubhouse. They picked the gray carpet and the orange walls. But this is the clubhouse. It took several years to build. And so the kids were teenagers. They'd have their friends over to spend the night and they would spend the night in the clubhouse playing video games and drinking Mountain Dew. This is the front yard. When we bought the house, the homeowners had a wisteria plant, which is like a big vine, and it grew all the way up into here. And when we pulled it out, it like pulled out part of the railing. There were two trees here. They had planted one year's Christmas tree right here. It was such an awkward spot that we did pull that out. My girlfriend and I made these flower beds. They're way too big. But here's where we always planted pansies for a friend of ours that passed. She loved pansies. And the kids like to play in this tree and break the branches off. But it is beautiful in spring. Turns into a cherry blossom festival of its own. And that is the last and final time that you will see this house. Tomorrow we officially go to our new place. I'm hoping to make you a video about that. Be sure to check out Real Deal, my main channel where I show videos about base gear and more. On this channel, subscribe to Real Deal Travel to get updates like this. To watch trips we've taken in our travel trailer, check out this video.